Hi, this is Josh Berry from the Balsams. The autumn season is upon us, and so uh, the cooking we're going to do today is going to be so wonderful of the fall season. Some maple glazed sea scallops, some smoked cod potato cakes, some tart green apples, and some micro beet greens to finish it off. Uh, the first part of the recipe we're going to talk about is the finnan hattie, uh, or the smoked cod potato cakes. It's been a staple of the Balsams since I was here as an apprentice around 15 years ago. Finnan hattie, uh, as the legend says is developed in Finn in Scotland years and years ago. Uh, Finn in Scotland, a fishing village. They'd, they'd catch these cod and haddock, bring them back to their village, pack them with some salt and, and spices, and hang them up in their sheds to preserve. Uh, very similar to the Italian bacala style of, of, of preserving fish. So what they'd do is they'd salt this fish and hang it up. But again, as legend says, uh, somehow the, the town caught on fire and part of the village burned down. After the fire was put out, they, the villagers came back and they, they went into their sheds expecting to find nothing. But what they did find was the, the salt cod took on this wonderful smoky color and smoky flavor from the fire. So they, they exploited that and they kept smoking their salted fish. In New England, we use this all the time, some nice smoked cod or smoked haddock. And Chef Phil Leonard, when he taught us, we made the finnan haddie. The Finn and Hattie was always served at breakfast time over toast points with the potatoes and milk. The three main ingredients, onions, potatoes, smoked cod, cooked in milk till it's, till it's just um, all the ingredients have really melted together. It's a wonderful dish. Um, it's very homey style. Um, it, we used to make a Finn and Hattie chowder here. That was just wonderful. And um, that we'll, we'll make back again in, now that it's fall and, and, and the colder weather is happening upon us. So... To start this dish, first, we're going to take some great, um, nice potatoes. We're going to give these a quick peel. This is a Swiss peeler I'm using here. Um, uh, I, we really like using these peelers. It's a little bit more ergonomic when we have to peel a lot of potatoes or a lot of onions. Okay, I'm just going to kind of snake through this really quick. All the potato peels we save, we, uh, we compost all of our own vegetable scraps here at the balsams. Nothing gets thrown out. We'll find a use for everything. I'm going to take this potato. I'm going to cut out any of the, the parts that we can't use. And you want to chop it into just pieces, kind of really large chunks, similar to that. They're going to go right into our pot here. Okay. Basically, we've just got one potato in there. Now, we're going to add our, salt, our uh, smoked haddock. We don't need a huge, a very large piece. This is just a tail section of one haddock, okay? I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to slice it up about the same size that I had for the potatoes. So we'll add this right in there, okay? Now we're going to add some... Uh, some ochreous milk, right from Maine, that we use here at the Balsams. I like it because it has that nice creamy texture to it, okay? Wonderful local products here. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to let that stew down. We're going to let that cook. The milk is going to infuse with that smoked cod, and we want to cook it just until the potatoes our fork tender. We don't want them mashed, we just want them nice and fork tender. So we're going to let that cook down. We don't need to add any salt because the cod or the haddock has enough salt into it. After that's cooked for about 30 minutes or so on a nice low temperature, low heat, we're going to have this right here. Okay, Those potatoes, as you can tell, I can, I can pretty much mash them right with my spoon right here when I wanted to. The smoked cod flakes right apart wonderfully. We rendered, we poured out some of the cream and, or the milk and we added a little bit back in if we need to. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to put it right in a mixing bowl. And you just want to take a spoon or a fork and just lightly mash this up. We don't want it uh, like pasty, okay? We want to keep some of those big pieces of fish. We want to be able to taste the, uh, the inside of the potato. Potato has a wonderful flavor into it, especially it depends on where the earth, where it's grown, you know. Depending on what type of potato, we would we used uh, main potatoes here. 
You don't want, and they're brown skin. You saw that. We don't want to use a new potato or a red skin potato. They're too waxy, too, too much new starch. And that, that's not what we want for this recipe. So I'm going to take a little bit of just chopped, um, fresh chopped parsley. Put that in there. I'm not going to add too much salt because of the, the cod or the haddock has some. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper though. So, just mixing all this together. I like doing recipes like this, having, it's like a new take on one of these older school recipes. And uh, so we're not really losing our heritage of what we've, what we've cooked years ago. We're just bringing these new recipes for a newer generation. Okay, great. We have our saute pan here. We're heating up our saute pan and I have a fun little kitchen trick I'm going to show you. Right here, I just have some potato buds. You'll find these in the, st in the grocery store. Uh, they're similar to the instant mashed potatoes you can make, which uh, we don't use here at the Balsams, fortunately. But what we do use these for is for a breading. They make wonderful, if you like making fish and chips, you take some of the not smoked, cow, not smoked haddock or smoked cod, but you take some just fresh haddock or fresh sole, dip it into a light egg batter, and then dredge it in some of these potato buds, and then fry it off. Oh, it makes a wonderful crust. And that's what we want for our smoked cod potato cakes here. I got an ice cream scoop, just a normal ice cream scoop. And I'm going to take a little scoop of our smoked cod mix. Now you want to get some nice pieces of uh, fish in there. You want to get some nice pieces of potato. Okay, I'm going to pop that out. And then I'm just going to dredge that right in our potatoes, right in our dehydrated potatoes. Okay, a nice breading. I don't want to add breadcrumbs to it. I want to stick with our potato theme, our potato motif that we have going. Now I'm just reforming these balls into a nice little noisette, just like that. Okay. So our saute pan's getting just warm. Add a little bit of oil to this. Okay, now I'm going to lightly put that cake right in there. One of the methods that was always, and, and the, the mantra that Chef Leonard always taught us was to serve golden brown food. Always serve golden brown food. To do that, you need to have proper cooking techniques. The hot pan the hot oil, the dry protein or product going in there. Now I'm going to put a little bit of whole butter in there. The whole butter is going to help us get that golden brown. The reason we add the whole butter is, as the butter starts to melt, the milk solids will caramelize. Now when those milk solids caramelize, you can see already it's getting that beautiful brown color around there. Besides the flavor that it's going to impart, we want that golden brown color. Look at that. Look at that perfect. We didn't flip these over. We just put them in there and let them sit for a second. Just let these sit. Wonderful golden brown. You can see those potato flakes on top give it that nice crust. You can feel that right now. In fact, it adds that wonderful sound. That's that crunch. That we know that crunch is going to happen when we bite into those. Now remember, this is going to just be one part of the recipe for our scallop dish. But just these by themselves are a great snack. Some nice smoked cod. Now everything's already cooked. The potatoes are already cooked. The fish is already cooked. We're just re-crisping these on the outside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop these right out, and put them on a plate. 
and they'll be all ready to go when we start to plate up our dish. Okay. Now, we're going to onto the scallops.